to share a story with you about a man named John Todd. You've never heard of him probably. He lived in the 1800s. His mother and father died when he was six. John Todd's mother and dad died when he was six. He lived somewhere in the Midwest. I'm not sure right where he lived. He was adopted by a kind-hearted aunt and lived, and then he went off to college and moved away, and he just, he, he, he was very successful, I mean, in terms of just prospering as a human being. And he got a letter from his aunt, who became his mother, after 34 years. I mean, he'd been back and forth, but he couldn't travel as much because travel was tough back then. He got a letter, and she said, I'm dying, and I'm afraid to die. And he, this is the letter he sent back to her. It is now 35 years since I, as a boy of six, was left quite alone in the world. You sent me word you would give me a home and be a kind mother to me. I have never forgotten the day I made the long journey to your house. I can still recall my disappointment when, when instead of coming for me yourself, you sent your servant, Cesar, to fetch me. I remember my tears and anxiety as I perched high on your horse and clinging tight to the back of Cesar. I rode off to my new home. Night fell before we finished the journey, and I became lonely and afraid. Do you think she'll go to bed before we get there, I asked Cesar. Oh, no, he said. She'll stay up for you. When we get out of these woods, you'll see her light shining in the window. Soon we did ride out into the clearing, and there, sure enough, was your candle. I remember you when you were waiting at the door, that you put your arms close about me, a scared and bewildered little boy. You had a fire burning on the hearth, a hot supper waiting on the stove. After supper, you took me to my new room, and you heard me say my prayers, and then you sat beside me till I fell asleep. Someday, soon, God will send for you and take you to your new home. Don't fear the summons, the strange journey, or the messenger who takes you. God can be trusted to do as much for you as you were kind enough to do for me so many years ago. At the end of the road, you will find light and love and a welcome awaiting you, and you will be safe in God's care. I believe that's the picture that Jude is showing here that you do go through the woods, you do go through the darkness. It is not easy. Death does occur. It is not fair. There is fear. And yet there is light waiting for you. There is life waiting for you. There is love waiting for you. There is our Lord waiting for you. And you and I are like Cesar. We have the privilege of bringing people to the light. Cesar is the hero here. He brought this little boy from far away to the light. The ant gets the credit, but it was Cesar who was the messenger. And you and I can point to that little boy and tell him all the bad things that he did and his parents were bad and they shouldn't have done this and they died. Or we can put that little boy and put your friends on our backs and carry them to the light. It's your choice.